Alrighty, here we are back in the scripting editor and let's take a look at how we can extend an if statement using an else statement and an else if statement. So let's go ahead now and we'll start up by typing in an if statement. We've already looked at this. We'll just create something basic. Uh, basically we'll compare it to the examples we've been looking at already. So we'll just say uh, result. How about we'll sit, do the 5 is greater than 3 thing. And we'll just say if 5 is greater than 3. Alright, there's our if statement. It's going to test to see if 5 is greater than 3. And if so, it's going to give us a dialog message. But let's add a new wrinkle to it. Let's type in else inside there. And then let's go ahead and add another dialog message that says 5 is not greater th than 3. Now in this particular case, we know 5 is greater than 3. So this is not going to test to be true. But that's not the point. The point is that you create a secondary gateway. If any other condition comes up, other than the original condition up there, um, this is what's going to get executed. So, so let me explain that a little clearer. Here's our condition. If that condition is met, this code is going to be executed. If the condition is not met, this code here is going to be executed. All right. So if any other situation occurs other than this code being true, then this secondary action is going to be triggered. The one sandwiched inside the else statement. Let's go ahead and build that and take a look at how it looks when it runs. Okay, we'll run that. As you can see, it says 5 is greater than 3. Okay, so we knew that was going to happen. But let's go back and take a look at our script here. Now, basically, uh, we've got that else trigger. So if any other condition comes up, it's going to go ahead and trigger the secondary one, right? And let's just go ahead and change the message here to say result, we'll say not true, all right? And then let's go ahead and change this. We'll say if 5 is greater than 6. Let's go ahead and build that and run it and see what happens. Okay, as you can see here, it says not true. Now, if we go back and look at our script, you can see the reason that happened is because 5 is not greater than 6. Now, the reason that we have also something called an else if statement is because sometimes you want to get a little more specific than this. In this case, what we've done is we've created a catch-all with our else statement. So we've basically said to our script, look, if this one condition tests true, which is uh, the one that we've typed in right here, uh, then we're telling our script, if that is true, please execute this code. In all other instances, please execute this code here. Okay, well that's not necessarily very precision for running a, a larger script. So let's take a look at an example here. If 5 is greater than 6, of course, that's not true. Um, let's take a look here and we'll track with an else if statement uh, the value of 5 in relation to the message that we deploy. So in other words, we'll say else if uh, 5, uh, in this particular case, if 5 is greater than 6, then dialog message result 5 is greater than, we'll just change that. And else if 5 is greater than 7, then, and I'm going to put in another, actually I'm just going to cut and paste this one here. And we'll say 5 is greater than 7. Else if and this time we'll say 5 is less than 7, then, and we'll put 5 is less than 7. And we'll review this before we run it. And then we'll put in finally a little catch all again with an else statement that says not true, for example. Okay, so now you can see the difference between an else statement, an if statement, and an else if statement. The if statement creates a general condition. We'll say if 5 is greater than 6. Now we could be comparing variables, tables, functions, anything up there, right? We can be even comparing expressions. But in our uh, script here where we've got our dialog message actions, we're actually going through and we're testing for different values. So the first one's going to test to be not true because we know for a fact that 5 is not greater than 6. So we've set up an else if gateway and of course this is hypothetical. We're using simple values here, but we know that 5 is also not greater than 7, so this code will not execute either. But if this code was true, this particular por portion of the script would be executed, right? Now we've got another else if statement here where we're asking our script else if 5 is less than 7, 
then execute this code. All right, so now we know this is going to be true, and that's the response we're going to get. And we've got a catch all here with our else statement, which we tested out already, and we know how that works, where we've got a dialog message. Let's go ahead and run this script. Hopefully, we're not getting uh, too complicated or long winded here. Um, I'm trying to um, condense as much stuff as I can, but sometimes I know it gets a little long. There we go, it says 5 is less than 7. So let's review this really quick and move on to the next video. In this particular case, we've introduced the else and else if statements. So we're creating gateways for logic here. We're testing for values and we're comparing them. We're using relational operators and we're creating actions which deploy depending on conditions. Now, if you use your imagination, you can see that by combining these with the and or the or statements, we can create you know, multi-leveled logic here that's testing for a variety of values and creating very, very detailed personalized responses depending on the criteria that's laid out. So to simplify what I'm saying here, let's go ahead and look back at just one quick example. And we'll re I'm going to remove this part here. And I'm going to remove this part here just to simplify what we're looking at. And you can see that basically we're just doing an alternate test. So we'll say if 5 is greater than 6, then execute this. Alternately, if 5, else if 5 is less than 7. So in other words, if the first portion does not test true, test it again and see if it's less than 7, then execute this. Okay, so that's how an else and else if gateway work within an if statement. And uh, we'll move on to the next video now.